So you're an actor and you would love to get some jobs, get some bookings. Yes, let me help you. for finding bookings and auditions in acting. Actors Access. Now I love this website. I have been using this website for over a decade. It is amazing, it is trustworthy, and it is safe. It is just one of the ways that you can spread your marketing materials to casting directors who are interested in booking people like you for different roles in film, television, and commercial land. Okay, let me break down a little bit how all of this goes. So casting directors are hired by companies to put together an array of talent so that they can cast a certain role. Note, a casting director does not pick the person. They are in charge of collecting the different talent so that the company can choose who they want to work with. The first step that a casting director will make is creating a breakdown. So that's a list of roles um, and of ages of people that they are looking to hire. They put this breakdown on what's called breakdown services. Now this is the back end of Actors Access. Only people that have access to this are your agents, managers, and casting directors. You and I can't just look on breakdown services and get all of the information that's on that end. You have to have a special login to get that information. The most important thing is your profile. You wanna make sure that on Actors Access you have your profile ready to go. You have the photos that you need, making sure that they are headshots that make you look good, that they are amazing. You also wanna make sure you have performance video as well as a slate shot and a resume. So let's break these things down one at a time, shall we? Okay, here is Actors Access. The first thing I want you to do when you get to your site is I want you to manage your profile. You wanna make sure everything about me is correct. There's some personal information at the top. Then you get down to the nitty gritty. What are the athletic endeavors that you believe you are strong at? Please do not click anything here that you cannot fully execute on. It is important to make sure everything is truthfully put. Okay, at the very top, you have your general details, all of the information that's very important and personal. Then you get down to your skills. Make sure whatever you have checked are things that you can actually walk into the room and do, including your accents, fluent languages. You don't want anyone to ask you to say something in another language or say something with an accent and you're unable to do it. It just doesn't look professional. Here are your photos. Your first two photos are free and you have the opportunity to add additional photos for $10 each. Now, if the photos are not a completely different look, I suggest not to use them. You see the four photos that I have here are all very different. I even have more if you scroll down, okay? But you wanna make sure that your commercial look looks one way. Maybe you have one that's a little bit more sassier and maybe you have one that's a little bit more dramatic, one that's a little bit more commercial. Here we have the resume. You have your header for each thing that you're doing and then you have the credits underneath. Just like a regular resume, we wanna make sure the first column says what the show is, the second column says your role, and the last column says the company or the production company that you worked for. Okay, now we are in video world. You can add a description here. Make sure you use a description that helps your agencies know which clip to choose because if they don't know just by the title, they're not gonna go in every single time they submit you for something and watch it. Here is the sides card. We're not gonna go in that together, but just make sure your sizes are updated and you can fit the clothes that it says that you can fit. There's nothing worse than showing up to a shoot and they don't have your size because you didn't give them the right size. Okay, so let's go find a job. So we're on Actors Access, our profile looks amazing. We're gonna go to breakdowns, we're gonna go to New York City because that's where I am, and we're gonna go from role to role and see if there's something that we can submit for. All right, let's see. Okay, great, I found something that we can look at. So this is what a typical breakdown looks like. Okay, this is the inside of what the breakdown is gonna look like. 
This is when it was posted. This is the name of the show. This is a theater production. And these are all of the people that are working on the production, the dates that you'll be available for, the pay, and the location. I like to focus in on the casting director and the casting associate because it's important to know who it is that is casting because those are the names that you're going to start to see over and over and over again. This is the pay rate for the week. Not bad. Location NYC. Please make sure you're submitting for stuff that's actually in your location. This is male or female play age seven. That does not mean that they have to be age seven. That means they have to look age seven. I rather hire an 11 year old that looks seven than hire a seven year old and have to deal with a seven year old when the camera stops. Just the honest truth. Okay, the deadline is the eighth, so we have a few days. All right, so we're gonna click child. We're gonna click one of the headshots. We're gonna click one of videos that we wanna send in. And then here, if there's anything to note, we want to put it there. So simple and honest. It looks age seven, great reader. Bam. Then from there, you can go ahead and add to cart. Once you add to your cart, do do do. This will come up. That means that you are ready to submit for that role. Now, don't disappear quite yet. You still have to check out. It's like shopping. We like shopping. You click here, go to your cart. You have here, we have all of the roles that you are submitting for. Now, I'm just going to remove this role because I really don't want to submit for a child and I don't want to come up looking crazy. Okay. So, if you have the monthly account, everything on here is free. My videos, my submissions, everything. If not, um, every submission can cost about 2 to $5. It depends. And again, I pay about $20 a month. You hit submit. Now you have now sent in your marketing materials to all of these castings to the casting director in hopes that they will bring you in for an audition. And that's that. There you go. As always, thanks so much for watching. Wishing you love, light, and all that jazz. Like, comment, subscribe.